in the human intrusion we will be discussing about the animal domestication jaisa ki humne pichle topic mein bhi dekha ke there is the plant domestication and agriculture and now there is animal domestication both of these domestication are an intrusion from the human side hum nature ke andar rakhna andazi kar rahe hain hum apne hi हैंड पिक्ड स्पीशीज को चूज करते हैं उनको हम डोमेस्टिकेट करते हैं उनको हम अपने काम में लेके आते हैं एंड डूइंग सो वी आर चेंजिंग देयर जेनेटिक मेकअप फॉर द प्लांट्स एज वेल एज द एनिमल्स एंड इन देयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एनिमल डोमेस्टिकेशन सो द डोमेस्टिकेशन ऑफ सम एनिमल्स मे हैव प्रोसीडेड दैट ऑफ प्लांट्स ये कहा जाता है कि हमने हो सकता है कि हो सकता है कुछ जानवर ऐसे हों जिनको हमने प्लांट से पहले ही डोमेस्टिकेट कर लिया हो देर इज सम एविडेंस फॉर इंस्टेंस दैट अर्ली कल्चर्स हैड डोमेस्टिकेटेड द वोल्फ और इन सम नॉर्थ अमेरिकन अफ्रीकन कम्युनिटीज द जैकल सो वोल्फ भी पहले हमने डोमेस्टिकेट कर लिया और उससे पहले हमने जैकल भी डोमेस्टिकेट कर लिया सो वोल्फ इज द मॉडर्न डे द इंसेस्टर ऑफ मॉडर्न डे डॉग्स so uh, and uh, so is the case for the uh, wolf and in some north Afri african communities the jackal was also domesticated so bones of dog and or wolf associated with the human settlements found as for back as 400000 years so kehte hain ki 4 lakh saal pehle humne hame hame aisi haddiyan mili hain जो कि डॉग और वुल्फ से मुतलिक हैं लेकिन क्या वो हड्डियाँ वाकई डोमेस्टिकेशन की एग्जाम्पल हैं दिस नीड टू बी स्टेटेड बिकॉज ह्यूमन यूज टू ईट दीज एनिमल्स एज वेल सो इफ दे आर ईटिंग यू वुड स्टिल फाइंड द बोन्स देयर बट दैट इज़ नॉट द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डोमेस्टिकेशन सो जॉइंट बेरियल्स ऑफ डॉग्स विद ह्यूमन विच प्रोवाइड अ रीजनेबल indication of domestication or known as to that date from the early holocene in the near east so early holocene ke duran hum kuch aisi shawahid milte hain jab insanon ko janwaron ke sath hi dabaya jata tha ya dafan kiya jata tha agar hum kisi janwar ko insaan ke sath hi dafan kar rahe hain that means we are not eating that animal and that is uh, the evidence of domestication of that animal so molecular studies may give the best clue um, if we take the wolf dna and see that how much resemblance it has with the modern day dog carles villa from the university of california los angeles ha and his colleagues have analyzed mitochondrial dna samples from 162 wolves and 140 dogs representing 67 different breeds so unhone un different dogs ke aur wolves ke samples liye and they now they will comparing uh, now they compared it and their studies support the idea that dog evolved from the wolf Uh, but the differences between the two groups suggest that the evolutionary separation took place about 100,000 years ago. But later work suggests that it could be as little as 30,000 years ago. So, if we look molecular evidence, it says that the dog was born one million years ago. But if we look at some later work, it says that the dog was born one million years ago. But if we look at some later work, it says that the dog was born one million So the first traces of domesticated sheep come from the Palestine around 8000 radiocarbon years ago. Uh now there is the sheep right so if dog we have discussed then there is sheep or goats. Uh jo sheep hai that that was developed 8000 years ago in the Palestine region and these may have originated from one of the three European and Asiatic sheep or may have resulted from interbreeding among these species so uh, europe or asia in ye dono khitte aise hain jo palestine ke kareeb aake milte hain and at that point these sheep were originated from those interbreeding breeds and then there is cattle uh, the domestic cattle of europe which was subsequently introduced into the north america have dna that is very distinct from the fossil arochs arochs are the wild cattle of the historical wild cattle of the northern europe um, 
bonds and is more closely related to the boss taurus of the Middle East. So boss taurus was developed in the Middle East and the domestic cattle has been developed from that boss taurus. So the cattle of Africa and India, on the other hand, seem to have arisen from different stock, suggesting that cattle domestication took place in several different locations and was based on different bovid species. Uh, even though K Aroks were present in the Europe, the Bostaros of the Middle East is the ancestor of the European cattle of today. Semi similar is the case for the Africa and India. There were different regions, and in those different regions, there were different breeding stock of the ancestral bovids. Wo jo ancestral bovid the, unho ne give, uh, they gave rise to the modern day cattle of those regions. So, agar am aaj bhi dekhe, to India or uh, Europe or, or Pakistan, in sab ki cattle species are very much distinct from each other. So human modified the genetic constitution by selecting for certain qualities such as placid behavior as well as high meat and, or milk production. So placid behavior is that if there is a wild animal, that wild animal has all the instinct of living in a wild environment. So wo bhoziyada aggressive honge, they won't be so much human friendly. Uh, so agar koi janwar bhoziyada sudaya jane wala hai, had a placid behavior, then we can use that animal for our domestic use. Uh, same is the case for the high milk or meat production. If someone is a more than a ghost, if someone is a more than a ghost, then we are more likely to we are more likely to domesticate that animal as compared to then an animal which is not producing so much milk or meat. So close association of people with animal also led to genetic modification in the human species as in case of milk digestion. Uh, milk may a uh, sugar hoti hai jise hum lactose kehte hain and that lactose is digested by an enzyme which is lactase. So agar koi community aisi hai jahan pe hazaron saal se milk piya ja raha hai then that community will have a selection of a particular gene which is responsible for making an enzyme which is called lactase. Lactase lactose ko tod deta hai into simpler sugars and then these sugars can be easily digested and absorbed and assimilated into the human body. So uh, if there was a community which was using the animal milk a lot, that community will have the lactase in them even today. Uh, then there is the, it is likely that the milking of cattle was being practiced in the Near East about 9,000 years ago. So the same region, uh, Levant, uh, which is Israel, Palestine, uh, Turkey, uh, Egypt, and Lebanon, and all those uh, Middle Eastern uh, region countries, they had uh, the practice of milking of cattle. Uh, 9,000 years ago in Ilako mein, uh, milk evolved in the mammal as a mean of increasing the growth rate of very young. So uh, they, uh, they selected these mammals, they adopted these mammals and domesticated these because they were helpful in rearing of their own young ones as well. So it is major uh, constituent is the uh, carbohydrate lactose of which we have talked about, lactose joke uh, present in the milk and to uh, digest this particular sugar, we need lactase enzyme, which is present in some of the human beings, and some of the human beings are lacking that lactase enzyme. We will be discussing more about that.